Well, Adam, obviously we'll start today by talking about sort of mission accomplished and National South secured. Yeah, it's been um, a long journey. It's been a really tough battle. Um, probably one of the, the toughest challenges I've, I've ever took on in, in, in my fo football career so far. Uh, but to get it over the line um, last night with the results was um, a relief. But at the same time, um, I'm not really someone that thinks you should um, celebrate survival, but I think in in the challenge that we had as a group and, and how much we've we've come together and improved as a group, um, the, the feeling that I've got today is I won a league last season and, and this feeling that I've got from this uh, survival has given me more um, more joy than that did so it, it tells you how much it, it means to me um, but yeah the, the guys have been unbelievable the, the players the uh, supporters uh, my staff the, the owner has been fantastic um, so I'm just really pleased for everybody that we can go into a last game with with a little less stress on and um, you mentioned your previous accolades as a manager where does this rank in sort of terms of your footballing career uh, it's right up there it's right up there um, I think I, I had one moment like this as a, an assistant at Barnsley where we were in a um, a real survival battle right till the last minute of the last day of the season and, and we managed to uh, achieve the um, the success of staying up in that in that battle and um, we, we've I've been lucky as a player as a coach I've, I've got a lot of promotions but this ranks right up there with um, with those just because I've seen how much effort um, work time it's it's took everybody. We, we've um, we've put a lot of hours in. Um, the boys have been unbelievable. Um, so yeah, to get this over the line and, and still have a game to play is um, is nice. And um, obviously, there are a few moments across sort of the last couple of months. Obviously, one defeat in the last ten games going into tomorrow's game. Was there a p certain point that you believed that we were on the way? Um, I've, I've always I've always felt we were on the right track, even. I think when I first came in, I felt there was a, there was an awful lot to change, but I believed from the conversations I had with, with Simon at the start and Alan that the club wanted to do the right things and it just needed a little bit of uh, tweaking here and there. I think even though um, the team found itself in a tough position, I think there'd been a lot of hard work gone in um, on the training ground with Mark beforehand and I think sometimes it takes a little bit of time for as a coach for them things to come out so it wasn't like I was walking into a bad group of players even though the position might have suggested that um, but I knew we was on the right track and, and after a lot of work and, and getting my messages over to the players and that always takes time I, I said to um, Simon I never wanted to come out of the bottom four too early because I think that's a different pressure then. Um, and I'm not saying we planned it this way, but I think we got the, the timing near and near enough perfect. But um, I think we had a big, a big few games at home recently where we performance levels were top draw, um, and, and things started to click at the right time. So I wouldn't say there was one particular moment. I think it it was a um, it was a build up of a lot of hours and a lot of messages going in, and, and ultimately it's the players that have done it. They've carried out the. The messages uh, to a T, the game plans to a T, um, and they're the ones that have have, uh, have got this over the line, and they deserve all the plaudits. And obviously, yes, we have one more game to go tomorrow at Braintree. How do we approach that game? We're going to win. Um, I said yesterday in training before the the results of last night, whatever happened last night, we were going to approach this as a, a game that we want to win, and we'll go there. A very good team, very very good team. Um, you can tell they're excellently coached, um, some really good individuals and, and they've had a great season. Um, but I want us to show how good we are against a, a top team. Um, so we'll go there to win the game. Um, we believe we can do that. We know it'll be tough. But I also want to give our, our supporters something um, to cheer about and, and to, to enjoy the day as well because I know we're taking an awful lot of fans. Um, and I just uh, want to give them a thank you for, from us as a, a group of people for their support because they have been absolutely incredible in my time here so far and we wouldn't have been able to, to get this over the line without them. I, I fully believe that because it's hard when things aren't going your way to, um, to get on players' backs, to get on the manager's back. But even I came in and, and we didn't have that 
initial manager boost that you do get, it took time, but they never got on anybody's back, they stuck with us. Um, and now I think we've put a, a platform in place we can bounce off and, and look to the future in a positive manner. So we go there tomorrow to, to try and win the game. We're, we've, we've trained and prepared like we would for any other game. Um, and we'll, we'll make sure our, our focus and intensity is, is where it needs to be. Thank you. Mate.